Well, hello guys. In this video, we are going to um, start our discussion about um, array helpers that are in the that are natively included in the ES6. So you might see some of them um, before um, using lodash underscore or maybe like array prototype. But right now they are like natively included in ES6. And that's what's going to be a topic for several next videos. To start things off, we are going to start talking about the for each, um, for each helper. Okay, so what is for each helper? Well, to get started, let's firstly um, write some classical JavaScript code that will use like iteration through an array using the classical for loop. So let's say we have an array of games and we can add to this list say League of L League of Legends oh, typing and talking at the same time is really hard um, GTA series um, Counter Strike um, EVE Online perhaps if you're aware of that game <laughs> and then let's say we want to console log um, console log every game from this array so I'm pretty sure you've done this a million of times already so you would say 4 I'm going to use const instead of var but it doesn't change a thing so const i equals 0 um, while i, I is less than games.length um, I want to increase the i and then inside the for loop body I simply go console.log games and then I specify the i here. By the way, this is just a simple JS file, and I'm going to be using Node to execute it. So I'll simply navigate to a directory that contains this file, and I'll simply go Node and then the file name. So Node and then the code worker. Okay. And if I click Enter, um. Alright, sorry, <laughs> this needs to be um, let because I am modifying it. Okay, let's try that again. So I'll go node and you see the list of the games. Okay, so far so good. So um, we basically want to, to like move on from writing the for loops um, all the time. Uh, writing for loops is not inherently bad at all, it definitely works. The problem is that there are many different ways in which um, writing a for loop can go wrong. So like there are many uh, pieces here that are prone to typos. For example, you have order of arguments that you need to remember and stick to it. Um, you also have the semicolon between um, two of them. And once we're inside, you need to remember that we're accessing the current element um, with this i character over here that we specified. And I know this is not in this is not a rocket science, but the thing is, uh, when you can like um, when you can like decrease the the amount of logic that goes on into just being able to iterate through every item of this array then you can focus on, on different things and you don't need to, to, to make sure that you didn't mess something up here. So um, let's do this same example but using the for each. So I'm going to put in a comment here called um, classical JS. I mean it's not really classical which b because we are using cons but let's actually turn this into a really classical um, JS example like this and let's just make sure that works okay and now let's make um, ES6 for each variant okay so I'm going to create a games array once again because I really want to use const especially when we're talking about the ES6 and I'm going to put this under a comment like this okay, so now we have this array and we again want to do the same thing so what can we do is we can use the, the array that we just declared and every array uh, comes with a for each method okay for each method expects um, 
anonymous function to be passed as its arguments. So you, you, you would simply um, type function like this. And then this function is going to receive an element through every iteration. So what's going on is for each will for each basically the name already suggested but for each element in this array it will call this anonymous function passing the value of that current element so for games we could call this game that would totally make sense and now whenever a for each goes through this array it will populate this variable game first with league of legends and then you you're able to do anything you want with it then after that iteration it would populate it with GTA again you would be able to do anything with it and etc until it uh, goes to the end so now inside this function we can simply console.log um, game once again and let's see the difference and there are none it's exactly the same of course using um, ES6 I don't really prefer to write function here so you can just do this okay and then if you remember whenever you have just one argument or parameter you don't need actually the um, the braces there so I can actually get rid of them so this is much more succinct form so still works the same and actually since this function is the same as this let me prove that okay um, ES6 states that whenever you have a um, function written with this fat error notation and whenever you have just a single return statement there you can simply do the following you can make it all in the single line like this and then you can get rid of the return keyword as long as it's um, squiggly or not squiggly sorry I, I keep forgetting how, how they're called but yeah you, you remove them and you also remove this semicolon and then this is actually the same that we had uh, written previously so as you can see so just side by side comparison um, you can see how much cleaner that is um, so it's dramatically less code that we have to write and uh, much um, less logic we don't have to worry about setting up the bounds of an array and make sure that we aren't um, that, that we are correct I in that regards we can basically like lean ourselves on the forage and be sure that forage will go will iterate through this array one element at a time and will expose us that value that then we can do whatever we want inside so um, it is just my suggestion that you try and move away from writing for loops for every occasion um, things like this are really quick to write um, you, you're sure that they're working you're sure that you aren't messing something up here or forgetting a semicolon or accessing the i in there so yeah that's just suggestion um, based on this video and that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this quick one and I'll see you in the next one.